Hey everyone, so today we're going to be announcing a new series here on our YouTube channel all about essential oils and different uses for each one. So in this video, this is just going to be kind of an introduction to this and essential oils in general. So I'm just going to start off with a brief history of essential oils. So let's go. So essential oils have been used in the Middle East for thousands of years. So Egyptians would actually assign each of their deities an essential oil, and because of this, only priests were allowed to use them. It has also been proven that um, essential oils were used in the mummification process, and they would actually put essential oils in all of the tombs. Pharaohs back in ancient Egypt would also use essential oils on a daily basis, whether they were going into a war or if they were just living their day-to-day -day life. Um, also, during the bubonic plague, Indian Ayurvedic medicine would use essential oils when antibiotics weren't working, and it was actually working for them. So another medical fact um, relating to essential oils is that doctors and medical personnel would use lavender essential oil to protect themselves against the Spanish flu. So this actually did work too as not a single doctor or medical professional died from this hospital during that time. Um, also, the Bible mentioned essential oils a total of 188 times. So. That's just a brief history of essential oils. There is so much more that goes into it, but next I'm going to be getting into selecting your essential oils and what to look for. So let's go. So when selecting your essential oil, there are several things you want to keep in mind before you use them. So first you want to make sure you're only getting high quality essential oils. So on the back where it says the ingredients, you want to make sure that it has the Latin name of the oil and not anything else unless you're getting some sort of a blend that already has the carrier oil inside of it. Um, this will just kind of prevent you from getting something that is packed full of chemicals and preservatives and you're getting the most pure oil possible. If you're going to be using essential oils for a medical purpose, make sure you consult your doctor before doing so. You want to make sure that you're not going to interact with medications that you're using currently and that it's not going to have an adverse reaction. Um, another thing to keep in mind is that some essential oils, mainly citrus ones, are more sensitive to the sun. So make sure that if you are using like a lemon essential oil, orange, grapefruit, that on your skin, that you're not going to be going into the sunlight for about 12 to 48 hours. It can really vary. You wanna make sure that it's completely off the skin before you having sun exposure. Um, there are also some essential oils that are potentially very toxic if you ingest them. So they are for only topical use and you want to make sure that you know exactly how to dilute each oil because some of them you can put as many drops as you want pretty much in there and there are some where you only need a few drops otherwise it can cause some burning and some tingling overall not a fun time okay so if you are unsure of what oils to get we do have this little kit that has six of our top selling oils it has peppermint, lemon, orange, lavender, tea tree, and eucalyptus. So this is honestly a really great deal. You're getting 10 milliliters of each oil. I will have this linked down below if you would like to check it out. So next we're going to get into carrier oils. So Lego. When using essential oils topically, you want to make sure to dilute them properly in a carrier oil. So carrier oils can range from coconut oil to olive oil to like an argan oil or even like a jojoba oil. Um, a couple things you wanna keep in mind when selecting a carrier oil is one, make sure you're not allergic to it. Do a patch test prior to diluting it and then applying it. You wanna make sure that you don't have any sensitivities to it whatsoever. You also wanna keep in mind like what is the odor of this oil. Um, some of them will have a rather unpleasant odor, so you definitely don't want to be doing any like aromatherapy with those. 
Um, you want to see how they get absorbed into the skin. Some won't be absorbed very well, so you just want to see what is best for your skin. Um, so yeah, now we're going to be getting into kind of like a do not do's with essential oils. So let's go. Things you do not want to do with essential oils. So one, you do not want to ingest them. We're never going to advise you to ingest them. There are some that are safe to ingest, but there are some that are very, very toxic. So we're just going to only use them topically and diffuse them. So my next tip is to take extra caution when using essential oils on babies or animals, just because their bodies are not the same as ours. So like I said, they cannot process the oils as well. Dogs have a better sense of smell, so diffusing some oils can actually affect their noses and their respiration system, so you definitely want to be more careful. Some birds are actually very sensitive to essential oils, so you want to be careful of that as well. So if you have any animals before using essential oils, you definitely want to make sure that you're doing research to keep your animals and your babies safe. Before using any essential oils topically, you do want to make sure to do a skin test. Just because you used it years ago and you didn't have any reaction to it, um, it doesn't mean that you're not going to have a reaction to it now. So you want to make sure that you do a skin test. You want to just put it on a place like your forearm and then you want to watch it for about one to two hours, see if you have any reaction. And if not, then it's safe to use and if you have some reaction to it. So you also want to avoid using essential oils in higher sensitivity areas like your eyes, your ears, um, mucous membranes, um, other sensitive areas, um, just because you can have a really terrible reaction to them. So definitely make sure that if you do want to use them in like different areas, that you are diluting it properly. So we are super excited about this series and to learn more about essential oils and help you guys learn more about essential oils. So make sure you comment, like, and subscribe down below and watch out for our next video, which will be probably the most popular essential oil ever, lavender. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.